Anyway. Okay, so uh, I don't have much else to say. I'll go ahead and pray. Lord, uh, thank you for the opportunity these students have to gather and learn how to collaborate, work towards objectives and goals, learn how to uh, defer and to have good teamwork. Thank you for what they've been able to do, what they've learned, and uh, just ask your blessing on this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, and I'll just say, uh, I thought you guys did a really amazing job pulling together the yard sale like you did uh, on relatively short notice, and I think Josh has an update on that. So anyway, well, well done, those of you who were able to help. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, I want to try to keep this quick because I do know a bunch of you have to head out. So this is the last one of the year. It's been fun. It's been great. But it's not completely over. It's just the last workshop. Um, but we probably, if I, if we have to discuss anything from here out as a student council it will probably be via email so this is the last time we see each other i'm just kidding um okay are you giving <laughs> <a little> <laughs> so this is going to be long <laughs> it's been really awesome so far so i want to give a quick update were you ready to i was just saying we could also just do like Skype call. Yeah, if it's really important. We can keep on doing it Okay, so um, quick update. The yard sale, like Mr. Joel said, went really, really well. It went better than I had hoped, praise the Lord. It was great. Um, so uh, unfortunately, mostly because of my own fault, um, before now we hadn't been very uh, on top of keeping track of our exact total. Um, but we are now on top of that and we're on track. So from the yard sale itself, we made about $415. So that's great. So, so then Purity, our treasurer, helped me add that up. <clears throat> and our new total, is $677. So, uh, really special thanks to everybody who came out and helped with the yard sale. Uh, specifically, the shells. You guys are here. You guys did an awesome job. You were there. Uh, you, actually, you actually helped uh, talk to one guy before I showed up. He came in like right as it opened and you were talking to him. So you guys were really helpful, and um, thank you. And we also say a special thanks to the Grubs. I know Aida and Ken came and helped out. They were awesome helping set up, put away. And then also my siblings, Lydia and Micah. <laughs> Uh, they were with I, me I think Micah out. deserves an actual special shout out. <laughs> Extra for, special shout out to Micah for standing by the road. He, he is now part of that uh, great bond men of community, the, the sign waivers. <laughs> a I sign waiver. You can now have a special, you know, uh, kinship. <laughs> when you see them, you can stop and say, I get you. <laughs> Micah, Micah went above and beyond the call of duty and, and stood by the road. Yeah, without, without pay, I might also add. Without pay, other than a cookie. You know? <laughs> he, he stood by the road and really actually did bring in some people. So that was great. And then also um, a thank you to from my sister patients who donated a bunch of stuff that a bunch of fake goods that she made. Yeah, so great. so that was great. And then last but not least, thank you Mercy for uh, helping make up the signs. That was very helpful. Mercy made up our yard sale signs, some of which Michael was waving. Um, <laughs> I saw I zoomed it up. That was my sign. <laughs> and um, and the signs really did work. There was 
I was surprised at actually how many people we, we brought in just from the signs alone. So that was great. All right, a uh, quick reminder of the cost analysis for the rest of the year. We have a trip to Gettysburg, obviously, and um, that probably won't cost too much. I was actually doing a little bit of research um, the other day on cost and stuff, um, so we can go into that in a second. Uh, so that's one cost that, as a student council, we still have. And then we also have the commencement speaker we're going to give a gift to. Um, beyond that, I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything. Is there anything else that we have a definite need of? I'm sorry, I, the cost. speaker, what was the first one you said? Uh, Gettysburg, just a trip to Gettysburg. Any cost that will come out of that and then commencement speaker. And I think that was that was all for, all for, definite, for definite. Yeah, I think you were maybe Boston. possibly resolving the, the rehearsal. Next yeah, I'm, I'm still talking to them about that, but hopefully, hopefully it, okay. it'll work. So, um, all right. Um, so let's talk about Gettysburg for a little bit. Uh, I brought this so. little paper that I wrote down. It's kind of jumbled, so I'll try to read it. Um, so first of all, a note, a lot, uh, one of our ideas last time we met was uh, to reach out to Mr. Bernie Beal. Uh, he does a lot of cool history tours with a biblical perspective, and um, he's just really, really awesome. So uh, I think we did reach out to him, right, Mercy? I was about to he's about to. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to reach out to him. He probably would be willing to, but in case he's not, um, I was thinking it would be good to have two plans. Plan A would be Bernie Beal, and then plan B would be us figuring it out kind of on our own. So, um, and, and some of these things that I'm about to say would honestly go towards both plans, uh, good knowledge that we would need to know for both. So um, here's, here's the deal. The general admission for the museum um, is, it's actually very clear on the website. They have a, not, a lot of nice information to put out. But, so adults 13 and up is $12.75 to get into the museum. $12.75. Did I say that wrong? I probably did. $12.75 for 13 and up. And then uh, youth, which is 6 to 12, is $12.75. So I think we have a couple. Wait, you're $12.75? $10.75 is, is 6 to 12. Um, and then child five and under is free, um, but as a student council, we, we wouldn't be paying for those <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's good news for any parents that want to come with you, right? Yeah, exactly. So child I'm five and under. You, I'm sorry, we'll pass it. <laughs> Nathaniel, you're looking a little young today. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. Um, they do discounts for groups of 16 or more. So that was, that was good to know. Um, 16 or more, and in order to do that, they have a particular phone number to call, so I wrote the number down. But, but it would be once we find out, I guess, how many people are coming. Um, and the other thing about Gettysburg is that the prices actually stay the same throughout the week. So weekend is the same price as middle of the week. So so it's it's a nice deal. Um, all right, and they have an, another package, which is um, a film plus the cyclorama. I think I'm saying that right. Plus the museum. And that is uh, a little bit more pricey. It's um, $18.75 for adult, which is, again, 13 and up. Um, and then youth is thirteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah, both or just either. Yeah. Okay. Adult is eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Okay. Youth is thirteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah. 
and then child five and only three step. So, um, so that includes the film cyclorama and museum. It's not, it's not as pricey yet. What is a film cyclorama? So the film, I'm not sure exactly what it would be, but I think I, I don't know if it's the same one they've done before, but I've been in there before, and they play like the little historical kind of like a documentary, I think it is, about the Gettysburg Battlefield. You go into like the other part of the Psychorama. Oh, so then the Psychorama is like this big room with like, it's really cool. Yeah, it's like a painting. And you kind of walk in and it's just, it's like you're on a battlefield back in, back in the 1860s. It was, so. oh, yeah. it was painted, I don't know, probably over a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I think there was like maybe, maybe one or two others like it in the yeah. world. And they had it there for a long time. And then they have created this kind of an interactive mm -hmm. experience where they have effects, you know, light, light effects mm -hmm. and things. And you, it's, it's very, it's, it's very moving. It's very cool. You, and you really get a sense of kind of what's, and if I'm remembering correctly, I think they have little props. Like the painting kind of seems to come out on the floor. Oh, they have yeah. Like little yeah. props out. Yep. And I think there was like a wounded guy or something. You just hear like battle noises and stuff. So it's it's a really uh, cool. At one point, they start thing. shooting bullets. <laughs> Actually, it's just stuck in your head. When we were there, like five people got shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very real. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. That costs extra. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of medical bills. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we want you to sign waivers. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so then they have a value package, which is uh, $34 for adults and $21.50 for youth 6 to 12. Um, and I didn't put much thought into the value package because I didn't think we wanted to do a bus tour. Um, but the value package includes a bus tour with the film Psychorama and Museum. So it's kind of like the, the package I just talked about, except it has a bus in. Yeah. So we went to the bus tour if we were riding bikes. We, I was thinking that we probably wouldn't want to do a bus tour. Yeah. If you guys want to, okay. like, we can think about it more. But I feel like we'd probably be able to take things in and kind of be out in the in the battlefield area. Yeah, I think you can, like, step off the bus real quick. You can step off your bike real quick and look at something. Yeah. 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 Um, so, and then there was another cool thing I saw on their website. It's called Ticket to the Past. I, when I was there last, they didn't have it, um, or at least I don't remember seeing it. But um, basically, it's at an old train station. Um, I don't know exactly where, but it's there in Gettysburg. And um, it's an original train station from back in the Civil War time. And um, it basically, they have a virtual reality thing there. So you can go in, and I, I guess it's like the goggles you put on over there, and it makes it look like you're back in the 1860s, and there's like people walking around that look like they're you know, dressed up, you know, so, and you can, like, hear their stories and stuff about everything happening, so it's, it's interactive, it's kind of like to immerse you more in it, but it's still historical, so it's like you're hearing these stories as if they're coming from people who are living in the, in the Civil War, so it looked cool, I don't know if that would be of any interest to you, I, um, you know, it, I don't know how long it was. It was probably, I think it was just like a half hour to like 45 minutes or something like that. It might be even less. But um, that is that is $9.95 for an adult. Um, and then $7.95 for a youth. Um, but it sounds pretty interesting. It, it, uh, it, it sounded honestly really cool, but 
because it wasn't something that seemed like it would take up the day either. It seemed more like a short thing you can do, and then we can still walk around the rest of whatever we want to walk around. But I think if we wanted to do the uh, cycle around the museum and such, then we'd probably just pick one or the other, like either the museum center or the railroad. That way, we're not having to pay a lot for a lot of different things. Um, so, what are you guys, what are you guys thinking from from those packages or ideas so far? I like the idea of the museum and the cycle like, well, That's the way I like the best, but it is good work. Yeah. How many people are there that potentially uh, That's something we have to definitely find out. Um, well, let's see. Ski day, how many people did we have? Like 13? We had like 15. But that like was almost 15. Dad, oh, okay. But I mean, uh, we paid, the student council paid for like 11 or 12 or 13, I don't remember, but it was in there, right? Um, that didn't include the ground, that be another big scene? Yeah, I, think, I was just yeah. trying to think of fun. So, what? I think it would be about Definitely. 11, if we all went, like, the student council members, Okay, and, and we can send out an email shortly kind of asking people, like, do you want to come? And then we can get a good idea, and then we'll confirm it later on, closer to the date. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, I'll figure out what we want to do. Yeah, so say... It's still going to be with me. Say we do, like, 11 people. That's going to be... Um, if we do the whole package, um, the film, the cyclorama, and the museum, that would probably be close to two hundred dollars. Of course, that's me counting everyone as an adult, but there's some who are in the youth range. Um, so it would be a little less than a hundred dollars. I mean, than two hundred dollars. Uh, eleven, eleven adult would be two eighty-six. That package. So I think we have eleven adults. Well, we have we have a couple twelve year olds. Oh, I forgot. Wait, wait. When will it be? When will it be? <laughs> When's your birthday? May fifteenth. Okay. Let's do May sixteenth. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, May fourteenth. I was thinking. It'll make when when did we day. say that people liked last time? We were talking about what the most preferred. Um, I know that they are busy. April. April. And we're yeah. a lot of people. We have a lot so I think I was thinking May, early May. Yeah. So I don't know if that still sounds good to you guys. Um, but I was looking, we could probably do a weekend if that's more free for you guys, like a, a Friday or Saturday, because it's still the same price. So I'm like, you know, why not? We go on the weekend. Saturday. Saturday's so always like, free, so they're always school. <laughs> so I mean like, okay, what about like a Friday? We, we usually... That would have to be after the 12th, if it was Friday. And we aren't available from May 4th to May 11th. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what what's the uh, Friday after that? I need to start bringing up the calendar. The Friday after what? Um, you said the 11th. Yeah, the 11th. The 19th. Well, the Friday after the 11th is the 12th. I'm assuming that you probably okay. don't want to do something right after no. that. Okay. So. Yeah, the, the, the 19th okay. is uh, next Friday. You would be 13 by then, the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. yeah. well, 13. We, we don't have to do it on a uh, Friday. We could do it like a, like a Monday. <laughs> could do it like a Monday. Uh, of course, obviously we would need someone to come with us. Would that be? Again, uh, probably. I also may we might have a few 
few other staff people who could be a sponsor. I would love to come. Okay. Um, and I might even tag my family along potentially. But um, if I'm busy, I can potentially arrange for someone else to okay. be there. So, and also, if we're going to be around, like, I guess one thing, another thing we figure out is how we're going to go, like, around. Are we going to walk or bike or just walk? Or where are we going to? So, I was about to get so into that. depends the, on what you decide you want to do. Yeah. So, um, so I, was, I was kind of starting out with the packages to figure out, like, what our focus would be. Um, and if we don't want to do a package, we, we could, like, not visit the museum at all or anything and kind of just walk around the battlefield, which might be fun, but it might be more fun to do the museum and stuff. I'll, I'll just interject and say that if you're going to do the museum and cyclorama as part of your deal, you probably will want to budget a good amount of time for those things. Mm -hmm. And you would spend probably less time necessarily out on the battlefield. Maybe. True. Um, you also could do it if Mr. Beal is available. Mm -hmm. That would probably be a really great blend of, you yeah. know, doing the tour with him and you could, I, I don't know, you could even ask him about what he thinks about bikes. Um, you know, because he would be kind of your tour guide. You'd be getting a lot of information that you would get in the museum from him and, and, and so on. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm just saying that probably the kind of experience that you want to have will dictate your question. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking if, if you're going to do the museum and stuff, you probably going to want to do that first so you know the significance of the battle. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it's just like, oh. Battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> what happened here? It would definitely. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, or, or, or I also say I you you might want to just do a little research on the bike thing. I I think I'm the one who planted that seed, and I've not actually done that. So I'm just I'm just I may be speaking out of total ignorance that you know they don't want people biking. Yeah. I'm just imagining because they have a lot of you know they have good paths yeah. and, and it's well you know paved and everything. So you you may want to make sure that's even an option first. So. Yeah. And then also does everybody have a bike? Because that might be no. yeah, several. What? <laughs> You didn't have to raise your hand to say yes. Um, I could probably what? What time of day would we start? Well, that would that would also come after we figure out what. You could start the same time as the actual battles. <laughs> so really early on. 4 a.m. We unless you're out unless you're long unless you're long street and then you start like in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you understand that joke more after you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did look, and it says that little round top is still closed. Um, they started like construction on it um, back in July, and they said it would be closed for like 18 months. So it's probably going to be closed till this fall. <clears throat> so that's not unfortunately an option, but here's an idea. We could do the film cyclorama and museum package and <clears throat> we could go to either the lookout tower. So there's a couple things that Gettysburg still has not closed obviously they have a, a lookout tower thing i don't know if you guys have seen that you can kind of park and walk up there's a bunch of steps but you get out to the top and you can overlook almost the entire battlefield it's really cool yeah and they also have like a uh, they also have like a little thing a little that they that you can mm -hmm. so um, there are a couple of those on the field right now so there's one particular one that we go to a lot and it's you can get a real clear view and it's really nice um anyway so that's an option 
There's also, um, we could go to an actual field, like we could, if we're in the museum and we find out about one battle, for instance, I'm just pulling a random one, like Pickett's Charge, I actually walked that with um, Mr. Phillips when they were here, because you can go to the, the actual field where, where the people charge, you know, and you can, you can walk across the field. So that could be an option if we wanted to, like, walk a part of the field that that forces had, had marched on, you know, all the way back then. It would be kind of cool. I know for me, when I did it, it was kind of sobering, like, it became kind of real. You know, you can see where everything happened, and you're like, wow. I would have died. <laughs> anyway, uh, they also have a cool cemetery down there. I've been there before. And they have several farmhouses, which are kind of cool uh, to go to because they're like original farmhouses. Um, but the cemetery is definitely cool. That's right, I think it's like right on the edge of the town by this fancy battlefield. Um, or we could hike to different places, like we could figure out a certain place of the battlefield, like we want to go there, and then we can start at a different place and just walk there. That's an option too. I don't know if you guys like walking, um, but I think hikes can be cool, especially in historic places like Gettysburg. Um, I, was, I was telling Mercy at lunch, I had a thought it probably wouldn't work since we've been playing in Gettysburg for all this time. But um, in Antietam, there's a path you can walk. It's probably like three miles, so it's a pretty long hike. Um, maybe it's like more like two miles. Um, but it starts at this stone lookout tower. It looks very medieval. Um, and then you can walk it down the Burnside Bridge which is a really beautiful spot, actually. It's got like a big old tree. It's old stone bridge, so it's, re it's really beautiful. It's a really beautiful hike if we were wanting to just like hike somewhere and not pay money, but Gettysburg has a lot of stuff to do. So that was just a, a thought that entered my mind, so I'm kind of giving out all the thoughts here. Anyway. All right, so, so the, the plan A, the premium hope, would be that Mr. Bernard Beale can uh, do a tour with us. That would be cool. It would be fun. And that way, if, if he says yes, if he says he wants to do it, then much of this planning will kind of just be based off of what he thinks would be good and then we'll kind of just follow him around. Um, but if plan A doesn't work, then I think we should probably get a general idea of what we're doing. Um, what would you guys prefer? So. For plan B? For plan B. So if he doesn't come. If, yeah, this is if our hopes and dreams are dashed. <laughs> And we have to figure out our own way in the world. So I really think the train station would be cool, but at the same time, I'm not sure how long that actually lasts and how much. Forty we can forty-five have. minutes is what they 45 say. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five. So then, if we did that, and then like went to like a lookout tower and kind of looked around, and like picked the spot to go to, or just like walk around. So like, go there, drive to the lookout tower, and then hike to the spot that we see. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have I like lunch. that idea. Yeah, we can like, yeah, pack a lunch. In the morning, yeah. we could and then we could like eat our lunch, just like. And we could like go to the graveyard and walk around. Mm -hmm. Old graveyard. Yeah, because the lookout tower is not that far away from the downtown graveyard area, so we could we could hike to the graveyard, kind of sit there, and then um, I was also thinking as a fun thing, this wouldn't be paid by the student council, I think, um, just because I think that would kind of be unnecessary. But we could get ice cream afterwards and just everybody pay for themselves. That way, if you want a massive scoop of ice cream, you can get one. But otherwise, if you're poor like me, you can just buy a little. <laughs> 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 so, 
So I think that would be cool uh, to get ice cream afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, I like that idea. Friendlies, I don't know how expensive they are. I think they're, they're, they're pretty quite, expensive. They're but they have good ice cream. Or there's readers. Readers, that's a good or idea. Or McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like your McFlurry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think that would be good. We can eat lunch like halfway through the hike or something, and then when we're done, we can just walk back to the cars, and then we can, as a final thing, get ice cream, and then everybody just disperse. Which brings to another point. I'm guessing we'll all just kind of drive in our own cars and meet up wherever we want to, um, unless somebody wants to carpool with somebody else. Oh, um, we would drive us. We, yeah, we, we, don't we, have might have, we might have to carpool with us. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's something that we could probably help with. Yeah, so. If we've done it in the past, we use okay. like your guys' vehicle and for people who need a ride. Yeah. I imagine for you, Michelle, you guys would just want to go there because you're not far. Yeah, so that sounds good. So I like I like Nathaniel's idea. We could if somebody likes that same idea but just rather than the virtual reality thing, would rather do the film in the Cyclorama and the museum. Um, what do you guys think? The, the package doesn't come with the film. The package with the 18... I mean the, the virtual reality. Yeah, that one, there's no package. Um, I mean, you could buy them both. But I think with these packages, they kind of give a discount if you buy the package. So it would probably be less than to go there and be like, I want to buy a museum ticket. Now I want to buy a Cyclorama ticket. I want to buy it. I think I think it's just a little bit less. So I don't. There's no combined packet that I saw, which includes the ticket to the past and the film at Psychorama Museum. But that doesn't mean we don't have to do both. I was just thinking we'd pick one or the other. So it does look like you get a break with them if you've done the film Psychorama in Museum experience. Okay, so they do. It looks like it's normally ten bucks. And they get they they take a couple bucks off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Um, so it, that's not a huge. So when, I, <laughs> so when I email Mr. Beal, should, should we have some dates picked out that we're thinking of? Should yeah. Say somewhere in May. I think we should pick out a preliminary date that we can all work off of. And then if, as we get closer, somebody's like, actually, that's a stupid day, then we can work to change it again. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know there's stuff that we come back on the day. Yeah, so, how about let's pick a date right now and then. I'll send out an email saying who wants to come and what dates would work for you kind of thing. And then you can send back and be like, actually, the date we picked in class doesn't work. So we can do that if you want. That way, we just have a general idea. We can tell Mr. Deal. Um, so um, what you thinking, like Monday? I think you were saying your Saturdays are generally too cool. Generally stuff going on, but the further ahead, oh, okay. Like if you when, like what? How soon are you going to what Saturday? This Saturday? Like May. Like in, like in May. We can do we can the do Is the 13th still too close to when you guys get back? It's the Saturday, so we get back like the 11th. We have soccer practice the 12th, and then that would be the 13th. So, so would be like too much. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to, to save like three bucks on, on this kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We, we don't have yeah, to. Yeah, we could try to get um, married in April. I know. We can have a special fundraiser. 
just for those Let's three bucks. Let's get Nathaniel over the <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so anyway. You can send out a special letter. If everybody just gets $13. <laughs> just give your monthly gift of $13. Save one for a saver. Of, save an impoverished child. <laughs> Um, so... That would just be $2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just so $2. it'll be fine either way. So, let's say, let's pick a weekday and then a Saturday in case, um, so we could do Monday, what would that be, the, the 15th? What's the Monday before the 19th? What's the Monday before the 19th? Uh -huh. That is the um, 15th. 15th. Oh, that's the boy's birthday. The 15th? My okay. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that? So. Well, that's cool. I think it's pretty busy. Everybody was like April's super busy. Well, April's busy for us, and I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Would the end of April work better for people? Or is that super busy of the year? Well, we had a little and that just a lot And May would be. Uh, we could try it at the very end, like the 27th or 28th of April. Yeah. I think I have a Yeah. Are we running out of cards? Yeah. Did it stop recording? No. might be able to talk. April. We're working for a minute ago. And we moved up. What, April 29th is a Saturday? Yeah, my one main counter to that is uh, Expo is the next Saturday. So that would be two events for you all in one week. Not that that couldn't be done. Wait, Expo is? Expo is on the 6th. Okay. I forgot I suppose my six. Okay. That's true. So how about we do seventeenth, nineteenth, and twentieth as our for Mr. Bale. Yeah, yeah. And then we can send out which of these dates do people like best, if any. Anyway, so that sounds good. So Okay. Final Final thoughts from everybody. I think, does everybody agree that we should go to that lookout and then pick someone somewhere to walk to, like to it, plan B, not, not for you. Yeah. But that would be like the latter half of the plan. And I think okay. if Mr. Beal can't do it, we should have a Zoom call and discuss everything and get everything finalized. Yeah, we might. Talk it out and like, take it the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it would probably. For whatever it's worth, I own. The audio tour, which is okay. available at the CV or audio or download. Okay. And I don't know if any of you heard. Her, if you even wanted to use part of it for her stuff, you could. It's very good. We did it for the freedom trail. Stephen, Stephen Lang. Oh, nice. Who plays? He plays. Stonewall Jackson and. Jackson and. and uh, Pickett. Pickett, yeah. yeah. What? The audio tour. <laughs> It's an act, the actor who played in two of the... Have you seen, um, seen um, Gettysburg or God in Generals? God in Generals is better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was especially better for... Well, I was for Stephen Lang, actually. Gettysburg was a little better. <laughs> yeah. but, it was uh, nice that he got to cut that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he kind of did a... a he seems more like a so we, we, we digress. <laughs> we're, 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 we're getting off. Anyway, I just say the audio tour is available. He yeah. doesn't sound like either of them on the audio tour. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, so, um, so yeah, so we are, we're agreeing that we want to we want to kind of go to that lookout tower and, and then hike somewhere that's cool, maybe a cemetery, maybe. But I think it's called the, the Lydia Barn, right, or the Lydia Barn House. Is that what it's called? It's it's like a really cool house that's right. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that that's an option, and then get ice cream. So what do you guys think about before that, though? Like beginning of the day, you want to do one of these things: museum or film and cyclorama and museum, or ticket to the pass. I think it'd be the best to do one of those things. Okay. Just to start off the day. One of the um, like the virtual reality thing, or you mean one, one of, of the things that I mentioned? Museum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I agree. Sounds really cool. Well, how long was the sacrifice? Kind of. Yeah. It probably takes about 10 or 15 minutes to do. Kind of just sitting there, yeah. Um, now, I can look more, but I wonder if they have just something where you can just do the cipher on the museum. I mean, the film would be cool, but I feel like to just see the Psychorama and to walk through the museum would be... What's the museum have? It has a lot of old, like, artifacts, pieces of, like, uniforms and stuff. I don't... Yeah. The, mu stuff. the museum is a comprehensive overview of the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And actually, in my opinion, it's actually, like, if you only go to that museum, <laughs> you get a really good big picture perspective, yeah. which is nice, because they, they help you understand getting further in the context of everything. So it, 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 it's, it's, yeah, so it, it walks you through the whole thing, uh, all the way to the end. So yeah. you, um, well, actually, I guess, I guess I should backtrack that a little bit. I guess they technically do get you to, to Gettysburg, and I think they probably finish off, but... It's like any museum, you can take as long or as short as you want. But yeah, it has a lot of artifacts, it has a lot of interactive displays. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I remember going there, it's helpful. They have, I remember one part, it was like a map, but a lot of times I, you know, don't click with maps, so I can't really tell what it's trying to say. But um, they had like a picture of the battlefield and it was like, this was where, you know, Lee's lines were, this was where um, Grant's lines were or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so, all right. Um, so I guess we can, we can figure this, the rest of this out later. Um, all right, do you mind if I uh, close out my, my last, speaking time in, do you mind if I pray for a quick before you go? Okay. All right. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this school, first of all, the ability to come together as students and, and have these meetings and talk about what we want to get done and what we have gotten done. Thank you for blessing us this year and giving us so many good times, memories, ski day, and good fundraisers better than we could have imagined. Thank you for the good friends and, and times with family that we've had during this all. Please bless us as we go throughout the rest of this school year and keep our focus on you and help us to make more fun memories and to get this Gettysburg trip planned out well and to have a successful expo day. If it's your will, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everyone. It has been good to be the president. <laughs> <laughs> and you're supposed to say, stay away from political parties. <laughs> stay away from foreign wars. And get along, won't ya? <laughs>